everyone. We're quickly approaching the peak of hurricane season here in the second and third week of uh, August. And in fact, there's been a lot of increase in tropical activity that we're now tracking. So this will be your tropical update today. Starting first with the big picture. This is a big satellite image here. So we're gonna be uh, focusing in on a couple of areas. Um, a little disturbance here. Um, this, so this is the United States in here. Here's Florida, Cuba. Dominican Republic and Haiti, a little disturbance right in here that's going to move across the Florida Peninsula this weekend, could cause us to be a little wet, a little wet weekend here in Florida, and then has the potential to move into the Gulf of Mexico, possibly becoming a weak area of low pressure. I'll talk a bit more about that in a second. More importantly, recently formed Hurricane Hillary, which will be the main focus of our briefing for you today. I'm gonna to switch graphics here to give you a bit of a proximity. Again, here we are, Mexico, United States, Florida. This disturbance I talked to you about here, we're going to move across Florida where it has a low, a low probability of becoming a tropical uh, depression or a tropical storm. That said, given the close proximity to land here, it's important that if you're in the Gulf Coast, especially Texas and Louisiana, you're checking the update daily. So if you're listening from Texas and Louisiana, I need you to check the tropical update daily, once a day. You can do that at hurricanes.gov. And then we have Hurricane Hillary here in the Eastern Pacific, and this will be uh, where I'll be focusing in on a bit more. So where is Hurricane Hillary going? So it's sort of moving off right now towards the northwest, but it's gonna make a turn towards the north and probably bring pretty significant impacts to uh, Baja California and here, Baja Peninsula. And then weaken as it approaches the Southwest uh, United States. But this is gonna be a big concern for us here in the Southwest United States from a heavy rainfall threat, a heavy rainfall potential. So let's look first at the, this is the probability or risk of tropical storm force winds. The brighter the color, the higher the chance of receiving tropical storm force winds. You can see here along the western coast of the Baja Peninsula, very high, over 80% probability of receiving tropical storm force winds. So all but certain, the western portion here of the coast is gonna receive some impacts, although we don't know the exact details of yet. And then even, even as it's weakening though, potentially spreading tropical storm force winds, especially at higher elevations into the southwest United States, you can see some of these probabilities approaching uh, 40 and 50 percent. So a coin flips chance at this point in time of tropical storm force conditions, winds, especially at higher elevations, moving into the southwest United States. In terms of timing, so this is the timing of arrival of those winds, you can see um, th these conditions are going to start overspreading the southern portion of the Baja Peninsula uh, late Friday, moving up the spine of the peninsula during the day on Saturday. And then for you in the southwest United States, uh, California here, um, late Sunday. Late Sunday is when you would be looking at these winds spreading into that area. So if you've got weekend plans, if you've got weekend plans and you're watching from this part of the country, you might want to be start thinking about changing those. But the biggest threat, the biggest threat from this system is going to be the heavy rainfall potential. I'm going to zoom in a bit more here so you can see where you're at. So this is Los Angeles, San Diego, Palm Springs. And I'm gonna get the, the legend back on the screen here. These higher colors indicate upwards of 10 inches, possibly more of rainfall. Now, if you're not from this part of the world, you're not used to this, this is a lot of rain. This is a lot of rain for this part of the country. Doesn't typically get that kind of rainfall. Um, and if we see this rainfall materialize, we're definitely gonna have some flooding problems. And that is why this is one of our, our newer products. Uh, this is the flood risk or flood threat. This red area indicates the highest potential for flood risk, but anywhere in this yellow area. So if you're watching from Los Angeles, San Diego, Palm Springs, Las Vegas, you really have to be paying attention. So for you, I want you checking on the weather twice, twice per day from here on out, once in the morning and once in the evening. Again, you can do that on hurricanes.gov. We update our products and forecast every six hours and conditions can and do change, so be sure to check back often. We'll be back tomorrow at the exact same time to provide you the latest information on Hillary as it potentially impacts the Southwest United States.